guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm super pumped for today, and I have no idea why. Um, the weather, marginal, as you can see. Like, fly days have been uh, pretty rare for the last two weeks. But I'm hoping that today we're gonna get lucky. So, right now I'm gonna take you to the Paramotor Cave, right over here. And uh, we're gonna gear up, we're gonna grab a bunch of stuff. Um, then we gotta go run to another shop and wrap up the van that I've been building. And then try to go fly somewhere. Anyway, so that's what we're doing here. We're gonna load up. Guys, I hope everyone's feeling good. Everyone's feeling healthy. Everyone's feeling positive. That's what I hope. And if you're not, by the end of this video, I hope you are. All right, let's start with the essentials. Uh, we need a motor. Come on, baby. Let's fuel her up. So I'd much rather prefer to start this by saying, like, here's the mission, here's the plan, this is what we're gonna be doing today. But the honest truth of it is, I have no idea. And it's because I've been trying to plan a flight for the last four or five days. And uh, it just, I've been weathered out every time. Oh, why is that so stiff? I've been weathered out every single time and it hasn't worked out. So rather than be like, here's the mission today, we're just gonna see what happens. We're just gonna watch it and play it by ear and fill up like we're gonna party. I'd be super down for a long flight today. I'd be, I'd be open to it. I'm gonna do eight liters. Eight liters uh, with the way I fly. That'd be good for one session. And you're like, oh, you burn eight liters in one session? No, but I probably burn like six or seven. That's really slow. Come on, baby. All right, by default, you're going onto this wall. I built these boxes so that you can fit more motors in here easy, easier. Uh, so most people who know me would not say that I'm like, I don't know, probably wouldn't call me someone that's like very OCD for cleanliness. And I'm not until it comes to gear. With gear storage, I am like super anal on where my gear gets put. When it gets stored, um, when it's getting transported, I'm the worst to deal with because I'm just very particular on my equipment. So when I built these boxes, the intention was to be able to store the paramotors, multiple motors and a trike in the best place possible or the best place that I thought was possible so that it wasn't in the way of anything um, and that the equipment didn't get damaged on transit. And that like the other thing is, let me see if I can hook this one second. I got a tie down D-ring that we had a hard time finding. Oh, got it. The other thing is, is that, you know, I don't want to take away all the living space or just like the prep space out of this van. That's the whole reason that like the van is awesome is because you can store all your equipment in the rear. Don't mess with it. So that's, that's the idea. So that's it. Motor stored. Um, but it's, it's nice cause it's, it's out of the way. And then you still have all the space to stage and, and put other equipment. And so what we're going to do is we're going to store our other equipment on these. All right, so now let's grab a wing. This will do ozone Sirocco 2, 24 meter. It is a good time. It is a good time. Guys, I can't tell you like how stupid fun this wing is. It's just, it's all I want to fly. It's fast, it's quick, but it's also got decent efficiency for its size. All right, we need a helmet. 
Yeah. Now the helmet goes right there, right there. Motor, wing, helmet. Um, okay, so then as part of my equipment, I'm not bringing fuel tanks because I already filled up and I'll be, I'm not going very far. I'll be in town. Uh, the other thing I do is I put a lot of my tools and just spare parts, um, things that like, you know, extra propeller, things like that in these totes. And so I'm going to find the right tote and that'll come with us. And it just keeps kind of, it keeps all my stuff together, all my tools together. Um, and just makes my life a little easier. So I'm going to grab a tote. Very last one. Okay, guys, I think that's it. I think that's everything that I want for today. Motor, wing, helmet, cold weather gear, heated gloves, uh, goggles, I hope. Hope are in there. Whatever. Cool. That's it. We're ready to go. Um, so, just like that, you're all loaded up. And there you go. Nice and organized. Um, motor, helmet, wing, and, and all the parts that, that you need. And then you still have all this staging space. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm big on just like having room and, and everything being organized. Not, no, not in anything else in my life am I like this. But with gear, yeah. Kiteboarding gear, paragliding gear. Super anal. Anyway. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. All right, let me show you what I mean. So everything else is looking real good, real nice. Blue skies, winds are low, and that's all okay. And then everything north is like snowstorm. Um, like all over there, a bunch of yeah. snow is pushing yeah. in. Winds kind of from the north. It's yeah. not bad yeah. though. It's actually looking really, really good. Never under ya, never ever, I'm forever on Check my repertoire, check my repertoire, don't check me not Less is checks involved, I've been feeling like I'm next to God Next to next to God, next to next to God Never not, never under ya, never ever, I'm forever on Welcome to the shop There's not a whole lot of reason to show you the shop because this is the last time you're ever gonna see it I mean, Me and a couple other pilots have been building vans in the shop for the last year and a half and we just finished our last project. And now we're all kind of going in different directions. Jake is going to uh, drive his van and explore the United States and fly around the United States. Steve is going to do his own thing and I'm going to do my own thing. So don't get too attached to the shop. It's pretty much almost all the way empty. Just have a few last items to take care of here. And uh, Hopefully, I'll be moving into a new shop soon. Um, but this is it. This is where we did everything. So uh, all the tools right now are being cleaned up. But that's not why we're here. That's not what I have to show you. What I need to show you is this next van. We just wrapped up this project. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm pumped to show it off. Never Check it out. Fall, never ever fall, never ever stone or rolling stone till I'm in rolling stone. Bet I'm close to gold, need a place, need a safer bank. I've been saving change, I need some space. Chatting in my face, get from around my way. Hey, hey, hey. What you saying, where you at now? I swear that once I leave my city, never coming back down. Wait for pushing tapes and glowing up around the map. This van is absolutely rad. Like, it's absolutely nuts. It's gonna be super cool. The guy who's getting it out in California, I hope, is pumped on it. Um, you know, you go through the whole thing and it's just, it's built to be off grid. It's built for you to take adventures off grid and be, and, and be fine and be happy, self-sufficient. That's the whole point of these vans is to be built so that you can not be inhibited from doing your sport, doing your activity. You're out there, you got everything you need. Some of those things include power. So you got power on the walls, um, 110 and then also DC that's on both sides and up here in the front um, you have on on board air compressor that sits under here in this uh, wheel well box and then you've got these pop-out flares that give you more sleeping space on both sides and then these window vents and the fans on top I mean this thing is beyond nuts beyond nuts 
Um, what you're seeing on the floor, this tape, is just all the finished work, finished silicone. You probably think, oh, and then let me show you this, let me show you this. All the electrical is hidden behind these boxes. So it's super stealth, can't see it. I mean, literally the whole electrical brains to this van sit right in there. Uh, how cool is that? This is Jake's brainchild, and I love it. Um, inverter sitting right here. And so you're probably thinking to yourself, well, that's a neat van, but it's completely empty. There's nothing in it. And that's the cool part of this van. So if you're going throughout this van, you notice everywhere there's this L track, yeah? The L track's everywhere, on the ceiling, and then on the floor. What we did with this L track is that we reinforced it into the steel and then reinforced the ceiling. So literally I could put L track hardware in here and hang. I could hang from a hammock, hang right from the ceiling. It's strong enough to do that. But also all the components for like the kitchen, the living situation, the bed, they're all removable. Let me turn some lights on. And they can all be configured any way you want. So you can put them in the van any way you want, um, plug them into the wall. You can move stuff around. You can empty the van out. You can re, uh, re put it together any way you want. So take a look at this. So the kitchen, we have the kitchen set up. This attaches to the L track. This is uh, the countertop split in two where the Dometic fridge is gonna go. And then this will go on top. You got the toilet box. And, uh, and whatnot. So everything is designed to be as utilitarian as possible. And then for whatever reason, if the customer wants to move his stuff, reorganize it or change it because he doesn't like the layout, he totally can by just moving it on the l track hardware. Uh, I'm, I'm pumped on this build. This was a real fun one and it was a good van to go out on uh, with our crew. It was a good van to finish with. It was just, it's an absolute gorgeous band. And, uh, and these fellas, Jake and Steve, did a fantastic job working on it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull some tape and throw these boxes in. Yeah, I'll throw these boxes in. And, uh, and then we'll rock and roll. Then we're out of here, we're out of the shop. It's sad. It's a sad thought to leave this shop because like I've run paramotor classes in here and I've used it for so long to store equipment in that it sucks to lose it. But it's good because it's time for me to grab a dedicated paramotor shop, like a dedicated spot that's built for that. You know, not like doesn't have multiple projects going on in it, but it's it's strictly dedicated to flight. So this is good. This is a push in the right direction. All right, y'all, all finished at the shop, got everything done that I had to get done. And now it's time, time to go get up in the air. And now it's time. And now it's time to go get up in the air. Today, hopefully is gonna work out the way I hope it is. Right now, outside this door, right here, is Antelope Island. Antelope Island is wild territory. It's what Utah used to look like before population moved in. Antelope Island also has a wild herd of buffalo that roams freely on the island. It's incredible. I've been flying here for years, watching the buffalo, working closely with the state on monitoring the health of the herd, and, uh, and watching what the state does to improve the buffalo's health by doing cattle or whatever buffalo drives and whatnot anyway what we're about to do is get out of here and go try to find the herd um my goal i love the buffalo it's a majestic animal i'm gonna be honest with you i thought the buffalo was extinct up until like not too long ago um Anyway, there it's such an incredible thing. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get you as close to the buffalo as I can without disrupting the herd, uh, without stressing the animal or causing them to stampede. Um, the paramotor is actually the most perfect tool for this because we can come in and 
be able to view the herd in a way that's not too invasive for that species um, and just see them in their natural habitat. I am so freaking pumped on this. I can't wait to show you what you're about to see. Hopefully the herd's out there. Hopefully we can find them. Um, they're probably going to be it's probably 15 miles away, a little ways out there. And hopefully they're, they're in an area that's easy to ex access. Uh, and I don't have a ton of fuel. So oh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's go get out there and let's see what we see. Start the music. I searched for a little while out there, but didn't find the herd. Um, there was there was like scattered parts of the herd out over on the, the center part of the island. But the state, I've talked to the state a good bit. They don't like us flying super close, um, super close to the state park. Cause all Antelope Island is a state park. So the state doesn't like us flying real low. Um, they, they're just they're concerned for the patrons on the island and then uh, obviously the wildlife so we respect that I stay above it but yeah I usually the herd some of the herd will be out on the flats and uh, I didn't see any of them out there so that was fun that was a good little rip um, it was like you can't tell on film but it was it was punchy it was super punchy I think I started maybe a little too early because it's we've got a little bit of wind um it's probably coming in 10 miles an hour and then that topped with just a bit of thermic activity is a little little pumpy um fills me with gratitude to be up there uh, just gratefulness to be alive to to be part of this anyway that's all i'm gonna do that's all the pontificating i'm gonna do on that but um guys that was a rad session and uh, 
and I'm pumped. I look forward to the next one. If you guys enjoyed what you saw, go ahead and like, subscribe, whatever else there is to do, go ahead and do that. Um, shoot me a comment if you enjoyed it. Don't say anything if you didn't. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you on the next session. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this sunset. Be good, bye. Never not, never under ya, never ever on, forever on Check my repertoire, check my repertoire, don't check me not Less is checks involved, I've been feeling like I'm next to God Next to next to God, next to next to God Never not, never under ya, never ever on, forever on Check my repertoire, check my repertoire, don't check me not Less is checks involved, I've been feeling like I'm